Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sahar. I am a 1L at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. I will also link my social media down below if you would like to follow me elsewhere. Today's video is going to be a little Sunday reset routine. I just thought it would be interesting to show you guys what I do on my Sundays to kind of prepare for the week. So I typically wake up pretty early still on the weekends. So I woke up at 7.30 this morning. It is currently 8.45, so I've been doing a whole lot of nothing for the last hour and 15 minutes. I laid in bed for a little while and then got up. I did kind of like my little morning routine um, and I just made myself a cup of coffee, which is much needed. I'm feeling not like sick, but kind of sick today. My throat is killing me, so I don't know how talking in this vlog is going to go, but we'll do our best. I have a full day of things to do today, so I really need to do some finals studying. I have property on my agenda today, so we're going to do some practice problems. Yesterday, like last night, I went through the entire casebook and there's like a bunch of sections within each chapter that are just practice problems and we've done some of them in class and our professor said that a lot of the multiple choice is going to be kind of like those problems so I figured it would probably be a good use of my study time to do all of those practice problems on the casebook. So I made an entire document, copy pasted and like formatted everything so I have one kind of master doc and it has all of the property practice questions from the casebook and I divided it up between like each section. So today I think we're going to do adverse possession so that should be fun. So I'm going to do that. I still have to do my property for tomorrow, my readings for tomorrow and then I have a torts quiz that's due tonight and I really want to study for that and then take it. I also am going to the gym with one of my friends today, which should be really fun, a nice way to break up my day. And yeah, then we have a lot of cleaning, getting our lives together as we do every Sunday. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me. I hope you enjoy this video. I feel like it's a little different than my typical vlogs, but I'm really gonna show you how I set myself up for success for the week. So this is what I mean. I went in and I put all of the practice problems. So we had adverse possession and then gifts. We have estates, future interests, and then I think rule against perpetuities, uh, co-ownership, landlord tenant, and I think there was one more. Transfers of land. And we're currently doing land use controls, so I'm not going to work on anything for this until a lot later into my studying, but today we're going to be doing good old adverse possessions. So there are about eight questions for that, and hopefully these make sense. They don't have like the answers. Some of them we did in class, so I do have a master doc of all of those answers, but the other questions we didn't do. So I'm just going to kind of try my best, and if I run into anything weird I can ask my professor or my TAs or even some of my friends in that class so that's what I'm about to do for probably like the next hour to two hours depending on how long this takes me.
Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> oh, that was cute. <laughs> It's now one o'clock and I just ate lunch. I was supposed to go to the gym like right now, but my friend said that he's really stressed out about the memo. So we're gonna try to go at like four now. Um, and if he doesn't end up going, I'm still gonna go to the gym because I usually like to do that on Sundays. So yeah, I made myself a cup of tea. I'm just waiting for it to seep. I'll give it like another minute because I am really tired and I also just want something to sip on but I didn't want to make more coffee because then I'll stay up really late so I did my torts quiz so I studied for it and I took my torts quiz and I feel pretty good about this section um we're talking about proximate cause and actual cause right now while well, we just finished it up and that's what the quiz was on so I'm going to go over and kind of update my outline from some of the new things that I kind of learned throughout taking the quiz and we didn't really talk about that in class but because it was on the quiz I'm assuming that she's going to want us to like know it so I'm going to go in and put that in my outlines things like that just things I noticed that we didn't really talk a lot or she didn't really elaborate on in class but she did quiz us over and that kind of sends a signal to my mind that that is probably something that is important for the final. So that's what I'm going to do for the next like hour. Um, update my towards outline. And then I also want to go in and update my property outline based on the practice problems I did this morning. So I'm also going to do that. So that is the plan for the next like hour, hour and a half is just updating all of my outlines. And then I will have adequately studied for finals for today. I still have my property readings to do for tomorrow, so I might go ahead and do that right after uh, if I have time before getting ready for the gym. So yeah, that is the current plan and I will keep you guys updated. I just got back from the gym. It is currently 5.30. I actually had a really, really good workout. We were there for like an hour and now I feel really good. But at the same time, I feel like absolute crap because I think I'm getting sick. Like actually, I feel like I say I think I'm getting sick in like every vlog, but like I actually think I'm getting sick this time. So I'm going to do a little schnooks haul because we went to schnooks after. And I got Dayquil and NyQuil. Can't wait to take my shot of these tonight. Yeah, I I really do not want to get sick, but I I really do feel like I am like under the weather. I don't think I have the flu, but I think I might have a cold and like my throat hurts really bad. So that's great. <laughs> um, and then this is the complete opposite of what I needed to cure myself. I just saw these and I couldn't help it. I love Lindor. Like, 
it's like one of my favorite chocolates so i got it as a treat yourself so i'm gonna take my shot of this eat one of these and post up on the couch for the rest of the evening probably i do have my property readings that i still need to do because i didn't do that before i left i did like half of it i'm honestly thinking i might work on my memo after i shower and do my property readings in the morning instead because I really, I feel like my brain is like a little foggy. And so reading and comprehending and analyzing a case is probably not going to be the most efficient use of my time. Whereas with my memo, I feel like it's pretty straightforward because I'm really at the like word cut portion of editing. So... I think that'll be fine but right now I'm gonna put my really exciting haul away and I'm gonna go shower and and I will talk to you guys later It's now 7.30 and I ate, I was going to say lunch. I ate dinner, like showered and everything, and I worked on my memo for about like 45 minutes. But honestly, I'm starting to feel like even worse. So I think I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night and take my NyQuil in like two hours. Yeah, at like 9.30 um, and... Hopefully get a really good night of sleep. So I'm feeling, fingers crossed, better tomorrow. But I hope this video was, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is pretty typical for what a Sunday looks like. Lots of homework, trying to get ahead for the week. And mostly just kind of cleaning up around my apartment and relaxing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a wonderful morning or night wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.